going to make one of our dishes in the restaurant that's um, really popular. It's uh, sizzling Valencia crab claws and crab meat with garlic, chili and olive oil. It's a Spanish, derived from a Spanish dish. This is one of these dishes that's been on our menu for years and years and years. Cannot take it off, people just love it. And uh, love to mop up all that lovely juices um, and olive oil with um, home cooked brown bread. Okay, so just to show you what ingredients goes into it. Uh, we start off we're using olive oil, chopped cherry tomatoes, red onion, de-seeded chopped chili, which I'm using red and green chili, and that's just preserved in a tiny bit of olive oil, just to preserve it for a little bit, and crushed fresh garlic. And of course, your fresh crab claws and crab meat. So I have about 120 grams of crab claws and about 40 grams of crab meat there. This is a nice little starter for uh, two people or a main course for one. Um, then we have just our garnish, which is fresh herbs, any herb you like. Um, I've been using coriander and parsley today and lemon juice. We use one of these dishes that are called cassuelas, they're Spanish dishes, and uh, you can buy them in lots of places now. Um, and basically you treat these um, before you use them, so you can use them directly then on gas, which is what I'm going to show you today. And it's basically from, from the hob to the plate. All right, so just to start off our dish, very simple, everything goes in the dish, it goes on the gas, and you just cook it up. Um, so we're using olive oil, so a splash or a glug of olive oil into your dish. Uh, then we use your fresh garlic, about half a teaspoon of fresh garlic. Chili, as much or as little as you desire. And again, like most of these recipes, you can add or take away ingredients, depending on your preference. Um, just a um, cherry tomatoes, just chopped. We don't um, de-seed them. There we go. Uh, so tomato and red onion, finely chopped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start this off first on the gas, the um, onion and tomato, and just kind of soften them before I add in the crab meat and the crab claws because the crab meat and crab claws are already cooked. So all you're basically doing is reheating these and you only need to reheat them for a minute or less. So we'll pop that on the gas. So we'll leave this cook away for a minute. Heating up the oil and the onion and tomato and just leave it cook for a couple of minutes. So we're just softening basically the onion and tomato. We're practically ready to go. And here it's sizzling. So we're gonna pop in our crab claws. You just give them a quick turn. Now you can use frozen crab as well if it's uh, not available fresh. By all means, use frozen, um, not tinned, but I wouldn't particularly recommend it. Now we pop in our crab meat. tiny bit, literally, of salt. And we're done, ready to serve it because you can see they're all heated through. We're just gonna pop it on our dish with um, bread and our herbs. And all we're doing is sprinkling some fresh parsley, fresh coriander, squeeze of lemon juice. And there you have your sizzling crab claws with garlic, chili and olive oil, QC style, uh, with fresh brown bread, squeeze of lemon. Our family business, Quinlan's supply from shops to homes, so you get a home delivery service, um, but ideally you want to use it fresh.